Sometimes as you're working with an image, you may find that the background is a bit distracting. Gently blurring it or darkening it can really de-emphasize it and draw your attention to the subject. Let's start by selecting the area that we want to blur. I'll do this by choosing the brush here, and I'm gonna make a new brush. Now, let's turn on the ability to auto mask and assign a color like purple so it's a bit easier to see. We'll also darken. We can now brush over the background. And as we brush, it starts to build out the selection. There we go. I don't have to have it perfect here, but I do want to try to avoid getting too much of the hair or body. And if needed, you can also turn off the auto mask if there's areas you want to manually brush over quickly where you don't need that accurate edge detection. Now, let's go ahead and remove that color cast. But instead of darkening it as much, I'm gonna simply go to clarity and assign a negative value. Notice how it subtracts detail and works nicely. We can also do a negative texture and negative dehaze. With those three negative values, it did a nice job there of really blooming out the background. Now what we need to do is just darken that a little bit to taste, play with the overall amounts, and perhaps a little bit of the saturation. That works quite nicely. To finish this, I'm gonna exit out of this tool and go to the regular vignette tool. A gentle vignette here just darkening the edges really sells this. And what we now have is a nice overall change. We de-emphasize the background while also darkening it and defocusing it a bit and it really looks quite nice.